and welcome to Mobile World Congress 2022 here in lovely Barcelona, where we're looking at what Huawei has in store for enterprise users. I'm Neil. Our guest today is Snow Yang, Vice President of Huawei Router Domain, Huawei Data Communication Product Line. Nice to meet you, Neil. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all the solutions we are bringing to Barcelona. Digital transformation is accelerating in thousands of industries. What changes will it bring to the enterprises and what challenges will WANs face, as we spoke about earlier? Yeah, as the foundation of connectivity of everything, IP networks are facing two major changes. The first change is all the enterprise services are going to cloud. By 2025, 85% uh, of the services will go into cloud and switch to the cloud. 70% uh, of them will adopt to the hybrid cloud. The other is that IP network will be enhanced uh, to the IP production network, such as some industries like uh, power, transportation, finance, yeah, as you mentioned, okay? It will be accelerated uh, IP network going to all the industry network. These two changes pose to three challenges for one network. The first is service provisioning. As we know, the cloud services need to fast roll out. Well, reality is that cloud-based services usually take one month to provision uh, because the cloud and network are set up separately. So we can't meet cloud synergy, it can't be in, uh, implemented. And the second, service experience guaranteed. Traditionally, IP network is bandwidth by sharing mode. So when some traffic jam or traffic burst, it will occur or impact your critical services, such as latency, bandwidth, and jitter cannot be guaranteed. The third one is operation and maintenance efficiency. In Internet of Things era, the network connection will be increased hundreds times than, than before. So uh, it's no longer possible for manually operation and maintenance ways to confess this kind of challenges. Well, it's interesting because I, mean, I having walked around the booth several times, um, I'd like to ask, you know, what solutions does uh, Huawei provide to overcome these challenges you're discussing? Okay. In two, uh, 2020, Huawei will launch uh, cloud version three solutions, which feature three key capabilities: one click provisioning, one network for all, and the intelligent operation and maintenance. These capabilities will help industry customers build agile, reliable, and intelligent one network, accelerating enterprise digital transformation. In the past, it took several weeks for enterprise to access cloud, as it involved several stage and multi-level collaboration among different departments. Today, SRV6 based cloud path technology enables end-to-end cross-domain service provisioning within minutes. In addition, differentiated experience assurance is provided based on service types help your enterprise access cloud quickly and smoothly. This is what we call one-click provisioning. One network for all, all enables one network to carry multi-services, hence the name. Traditionally, product, production and office services are using different physical networks, leading to the repeated construction and difficult operation and maintenance. Huawei's network slicing solutions allow one network which can enable to multiple virtualized network, logical network, and ensures these logical networks are hot isolated. It ensures 100% isolation between critical services and common services through innovation technologies. Integrated Operation and maintenance leverage Huawei's hope by help in band flow management solutions. We call it iFit. In terms of the packet loose rate, the measurement procedure is 
thousand times higher than traditional solutions. This provides in-depth insight into service quality. Furthermore, Huawei's knowledge graph algorithm can locate the root cause of a fault within minutes. I love that. I love that. You know, from a manager management point of view as well as a deployment, fantastic. You know, and uh, last question, or one of the few remaining questions I have is, you know, Huawei launched the, the Net Engine 8000 uh, F8 at the end of MWC 2022 this year. Uh, can you introduce the features and the advantages of this product? Yes, uh, the Net Engine 8000 F8 is an intelligent universal service router mainly deployed at the aggregation of call layer. It provides ultra high density, reliable architecture and industry leading slicing help to enterprise build a reliable, agile and intelligent one networks. Ultra density refers to its forwarding capacity, its two terabits with can evolve to 6.4 terabits. The devices provide several kinds of interfaces, like including 24 by 100 and 240 by 10 gig interfaces. Reliable architecture means all the key components adopt redundancy design. For example, control unit, uh, switching fabric unit, and uh, power supply fans we're working in redundancy mode to ensure high reliability. Industry's leading slicing provides megabit level slicing and 10,000 network slicing. Huawei NetEngine 8000 series routers support 10 gig interface, 100 gig, and 50 gig interface slicing. It is most comprehensive network slicing solution. We have advantage in production network scenarios that require the high services, reliable, and such as video conference. I mean, it's fascinating for me, Snow, that you know, at the end of the day, you, Huawei are providing some really cutting-edge solutions way above many other vendors. You know, and clearly, NetEngine 8000 F8 brings significant benefits in many areas. You know, can we can we drill a bit further in the sustainability benefits? Do you think? Yes, in fact, in the designing of NetEngine 8000 F8, uh, we attempt the uh, sustainability instead of purchasing high bandwidth. We have made in-depth research and innovation in the platform and software. For example, it integrates capabilities of four devices, uh, like service router, BNG, and CGN, and IPsec function. Compared to the traditional way, we call it four-in-one. Okay, it can reduce your capex by 25 percent. And it's additional, uh, when we design NetEngine 8000 F8, there is two innovation for energy saving. The first one we call it warm up, uh, warm backup. And second is we use a high efficiency power meter, which can save your power consumption by 30 percent. Yeah, therefore, the NetEngine 8000 F8 is a pioneer of green design products that helps customers to accelerate digital transformation and achieving sustainable development. It's, it's, it's incredible, really, because it, it, it's reducing the, the energy consumption by 30%, but give, delivering more, which is fantastic, you know, uh, from a sustainable point of view. Um, last question, Snow. You know, uh, the CloudWAN 3.0 upgrade clearly reduces complexity whilst enhancing performance and deterministic experience. Please, could you share some more about it? Um, also, how, you know, what the, the more re-advances, you know, our time at active intelligence, for example, that's something quite new. And for example, proactive automation network fault connection. Okay. In fact, uh, Huawei NetEngine 8000 serious routers is the first intelligent universal service router to apply intelligent technology to IP networks. Intelligent predicting faults and locating them in minutes. 
the network force prediction rate is reached 900 more. Uh, it used a master NCE and a fit technology to detect network KPIs in real time and accurately monitor the performance in the indicators such as latency, gesture, and bandwidth. With all of this, we can got virtualized network SROs in real time and provide such significant samples of NC for NCE. Then it used intelligent fault self-learning algorithm to continuously improve the fault in the identification accuracy. Quickly located faults and optimized paths through one self-learning and one self-training. Like this is the this intelligent solutions we are designed for our routers. Yeah. That's fantastic. Thank you for summarizing that. That's really interesting. Okay, that's all for now at Mobile World Congress. Remember that there's more information available about Cloud One Solution on Huawei's website, Huawei.com. Meanwhile, thanks for watching.